Hello guys! It's Teacher Alam once again and thank you sa pagbisita sa aking channel. Welcome sa part 2 ng ating Upcat Review for Science. And for today, we'll just brush up on the basic concepts in science and we'll have a little bit of everything. We'll have general science, earth science, biology, chemistry as well as physics. Good luck! For question number one, which of the following is true about the layers of the atmosphere? A. Hot air balloons fly in the mesosphere. B. The ozone layer is located in the thermosphere. C. Radio waves transmitted from Earth are reflected back by the exosphere. And D. Airplanes fly at the stratosphere where atmospheric conditions are more stable. The answer is B. This is a question regarding the layers of the atmosphere, so wag kalimutan ng ating mnemonic, the silly man trips on the escalator, which stands for troposphere, stratosphere, mesosphere, thermosphere, and exosphere in that particular order. Troposphere being the innermost and the exosphere being the outermost. Dapat alam nyo rin yung mga properties of each layer, so yung troposphere, that is the layer where we live. It contains most of the elements of weather such as clouds, rain, and snow. This is also where hot air balloons would fly. Okay, so hot air balloons don't fly in the mesosphere. They fly in the troposphere. The second layer ay ang tinatawag na stratosphere. It is where the airplanes fly because here, the atmospheric conditions are more stable. Yung stratosphere also meron siyang tinatawag na ozone layer which protects us from the UV radiation. Okay? Yung pangatlong layer naman ay ang mesosphere. Dito sa mesosphere, habang tumataas ka, pababa ng pababa yung temperature. Whereas sa uh, fourth layer, yung tinatawag na thermosphere, habang pataas ka ng pataas sa thermosphere, tumataas din yung temperature. The thermosphere also contains a layer called the ionosphere, which are made up of charged particles called ions. And these ions cause radio waves that are generated from Earth to be bounced back to Earth. So letter C is uh, false. Radio waves transmitted from Earth are reflected back by the thermosphere or more specifically the ionosphere, not the exosphere. And yung last layer ay yung exosphere which contains mostly oxygen and hydrogen atoms which some of them are able to escape to outer space. Okay, so for question number one, naghahanap tayo ng statement na true. So letter A, C, and B are false. Only letter D is true. Question number two. A ball has a mass of 23 grams. What is its weight due to gravity? A. 0 0.2254 newtons. B. 2.254 newtons. C. 22.54 newtons. And letter D. 225.4 newtons. The correct answer is letter D. 225.4 newtons. So we have to remember that the weight of an object is the force of gravity on the object and it's defined as the mass multiplied by the acceleration due to gravity. So the formula for weight is equal to mass times the acceleration due to gravity. And the value of the acceleration due to gravity here on Earth is 9.8 meters per second squared. So we'll just multiply 23 by 9.8 we get 225.4 gram meter per second squared is also equal to Newton. So we have 225.4 Newtons. Question number 3. Which is not a macromolecule? A. Lipids B. Water C. Proteins D. Nucleic acids The correct answer is letter B. Water. Water is not a macromolecule. Although water is a molecule, it is not a macromolecule. So when we say macromolecules, ito yung mga large complex molecules. They are usually the product of smaller molecules, yung tinatawag natin na monomers. So there are four groups or kinds of macromolecules. These are the proteins, which are composed of amino acids, lipids, which are composed of glycerol and fatty acids, carbohydrates, which are composed of monosaccharides, and lastly, nucleic acids, which are composed of nucleotides. Sa example ng carbohydrate ay ang starch na makikita natin sa bread at saka sa pasta. Proteins naman can be found in your muscles, in your hair. Sila rin yung mga nagpapabilis ng mga chemical reactions sa katawan natin. Ang lipids naman ay matatagpuan sa butter, sa oil. Isang example ng look like acid ay ang ating DNA na siyang nagsasabi kung gaano tayo katangkad, ano yung kulay ng mga mata natin at marami pang iba. Okay? For question number 4, which of the following is a physical change? A. Burning of pasta B. Corrosion of iron 
C. Tarnishing of silver. And D. Melting of chocolate. The correct answer is letter D. Melting of chocolate. When you say physical change, only the face changes. That is kung solid siya, nagiging liquid or nagiging gas and vice versa. So from solid to liquid, that is melting. From liquid to gas, we call that evaporation. From solid directly to gaseous phase, we call it sublimation. From gas naman to liquid, we call it condensation. From liquid to solid, the process is freezing. Note that from gaseous phase directly to the solid phase, we call that deposition or desublimation. Note that when there is chemical change, there are already new products that are formed, such as in burning, corrosion, and tarnishing of metal. For instance, when you burn something, there is smoke produced, okay? And yung chemical composition mismo yung nagbabago, hindi lang yung phase ng matter. For question number 5, what is the effect of doubling the speed of the object to the object's kinetic energy? A. The kinetic energy doubles. B. The kinetic energy quadruples. C. The kinetic energy increases by 1. And D. The kinetic energy remains constant. The correct answer is letter B. Recall that kinetic energy is the energy of the object in motion compared to potential energy which is the energy of an object due to its position. Now, the formula for kinetic energy is K is equal to 1 half mv squared or mass of the object multiplied by the square of the velocity of the object all over 2. So makikita mo na kung dodoblihin natin yung speed, the kinetic energy would increase by 4 times because going back to the formula, note that the velocity is squared. Okay? Which of the following statements does not help in distinguishing plant cells and animal cells? A. Animal cells do not have cell walls. B. Plant cells have chloroplasts. C. Plant cells have a large central vacuole. And D. Animal cells have chromosomes. The correct answer is letter D. So this is under biology. Recall the differences between plant and animal cells. Note that only plant cells have chloroplasts and cell walls. Only plant cells can make their own food and that is through the process of photosynthesis. Meanwhile, only animal cells have centrioles which are used by the animal cell in cell division. Both plant cells and animal cells contain chromosomes. So letter D does not help in distinguishing plant cells from animal cells. The volume of a gas at 30 degrees Celsius measures 450 ml. At constant pressure, what will be its volume at 50 degrees Celsius? So sa problem na ito, yung nag apply ay ang Charles Law. So remember that Charles Law is an experimental gas law that describes how gases tend to expand when heated. Sinasabi lang sa Charles Law na kapag initin mo yung isang gas, tumataas din yung kanyang volume, assuming na hindi mo babaguhin yung pressure. So the formula for Charles Law is V sub 1 divided by T sub 1 is equal to V sub 2 divided by T sub 2. Ibig sabihin, yung first volume natin, i-divide natin by the first temperature equal to the second volume divided by the second temperature. So first, i-convert muna natin yung temperature to Kelvin. So for the first temperature, T sub 1, we have 30 degrees Celsius plus 273 is equal to 303 Kelvin. For T sub 2, or the second temperature, we have 50 degrees Celsius plus 273, that's equal to 323 Kelvin. So, ilalagay lang natin yung mga values sa ating formula. So, we have 450 divided by 303 is equal to V sub 2 divided by 323. So, inaharap natin yung V sub 2. And now, solving for V sub 2, we have 450 multiplied by 323 divided by 303. We get a cylindrical tank containing water is punctured with holes at positions A, B, C, and D. In which hole will water shoot the farthest? The correct answer is letter D. Dahil sa letter D, dito pinakamalakas yung pressure. Alright, so that's it for today. If you liked my video, let me know in the comment section. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thank you all for watching. 